Hello friends, this video on integers part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us take examples of different scenarios. So the first example that we will take is adding a positive integer with a positive integer. So let us take one example. So let's say that you have to add these two positive integers. 4 plus 4 is equal to what? So that's what we have to find out. So we know that adding a positive integer to any number, we will move towards right. So the given number here is 4, so we are at 4. We are adding a positive number to it, so we will move towards right. How many jumps? 4 jumps. So where do we reach? We reach at 8. So that means the result would be 8. So whenever we add a positive integer with another positive integer, the tip to remember this because every time you cannot draw the number line and you cannot make as many jumps as is needed. So the simple tip that you can remember is add the two numbers, put a positive sign because when you add two positive integers, the result would also be positive. Let us take one more example. 2 plus 7 is equal to what? Where is 2? This is 2. Since you are adding a positive number, so you will move towards right. How many jumps? 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So where did you reach? You reach at 9. So therefore 2 plus 7 is equal to 9. Let's look at the second scenario where you are trying to add a positive integer with a negative integer. So let's take an example in this case also. Let's say that you are adding 4 plus minus 5. So you are basically adding one positive integer and one negative integer. Now we have learned what happens when you are trying to add negative habits to your life. So right now you are at 4. Now you are adding a negative integer to 4. So adding negative habits to your life is that the right thing? No, that's not the right thing. So we will move towards left. And how many steps towards left? Five steps. One, two, three, four and five. So where have we reached? We have reached at minus one. So therefore four plus minus five is equal to minus one. So here also I, we can tell you a very simple tip to remember. The tip is that whenever you have one positive number and the other negative number, just subtract the two numbers. In this case, you have 4 and minus 5, right? Forget about the positive sign and negative sign. Just find the difference between 4 and 5. That is 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. Their difference is 1. And then you put the sign of the bigger number. So out of this, when I say bigger number, just focus only on the value. So the value 4 and the value 5. Forget about the sign. So which is bigger? 5 is bigger. So 5 carries a negative sign. So you put a negative sign to the result. So that, that's how you can remember. These are the tips. So that even without drawing the number line, you can directly add two integers. So whenever you have a positive integer and a negative integer, forget about their signs. Just find the difference between the two numbers. So if one number is minus 19, the other number is minus yeah, plus 22. So just find the difference between 22 and 19. That is 22 minus 19 you find out and then put the sign of the bigger number. So if the bigger number is positive, give a positive sign to the result. If the bigger number is negative, give a negative sign to the result. So let us take one more example. Let's say 0 plus minus 8. What would be the answer? In this case, 0 plus minus 8. So let's find the difference. 8 minus 0 is 8. So the result would be 8. Whether it would be positive or negative, 0 is greater or 8 is greater. 8 is greater. Now 8 carries a negative sign. So the result would also have a negative sign. Let's say that you have to find uh, the difference between minus, let, let, let's say you have minus 23 plus 19. So in this case also you have one negative and one positive. So find the difference. What is 23 minus 19? That is 4. Which is a bigger number? 23 or 19? 23. So 23 carries a negative sign. So this would also carry a negative sign. So the result would be minus 4. So see, the tip is so simple that without drawing the number line itself, you can find out the sum. Now let us look at the third scenario where you are trying to add two negative integers. So let us take an example. So let's say that you are trying to add minus 4 and minus 5. So when both the numbers are negative, then what happens? So in this case, first we'll focus on the number line. So let's say the given number is minus 4 and we are trying to add minus 5 to it. So adding a negative habit 
is not the right thing so we will move towards left how many steps towards left five steps one two three four and five so where have we reached we have reached at minus 9. So therefore the result would be minus 9. So in this case, the tip would be that you add the two numbers. Now if both the numbers are negative and you are trying to add them, in that case you add the two numbers and put a negative sign. So for example, if you are trying to add let's say minus 21 with minus 3, since both the numbers are negative, what you do? You add them up. So 21 plus 3 is 24 and you put a negative sign. Similarly, if you have minus 51 plus minus 1. So in this case, you add the 2, 51 plus 1 is 52 and you put a negative sign. So as far as addition of integers are concerned, you will either have both positive integers. In that case, you just add them, put a positive sign. You might have one positive and one negative. In that case, you subtract them and put the sign of the bigger integer. The third scenario could be both the integers are negative. In that case, you add them and put a negative sign. So these are the three possible scenarios as far as addition of integers are concerned. Now, when we talk about addition of integers, we, we come across a very interesting concept of additive identity. Now, the name is quite fascinating, right? So what do you think could be additive identity? So additive identity just tells us that there exists one such number which when added to any number does not change the identity of that number. So you didn't understand anything? Okay, let's try to understand with examples. Now let, let's take examples of a couple of numbers like minus 5, 61, uh, 0 or minus 101. So these are some of the numbers, some of the integers, both negative, positive, zero, everything is there. Now, do you think that there exists a number which when added to any of these numbers, the result would be the number itself? That means, is there any number which when added to minus 5 will give minus 5? Is there any number which when added to 61 would give 61? Any number added to 0 would give 0. Any number added to minus 101 would give minus 101. So do you think that any such number exists on the number line which when added to any integer will give the same integer again? Yes, there is one such integer and that is 0. So if you add 0 to any number, a positive number, negative number, any number, the same number is obtained as the result. So 0 is called the additive identity. Why is it called additive identity? Because when it is added to any number, it retains its identity. It, it does not alter the identity of a number. So minus 5 remains minus 5, plus 61 remains plus 61. So it retains the identity. That is why it is called additive identity. Yeah. And also on the same grounds, we see that minus 5 plus 0 gives minus 5. That is, there is another way of writing the same thing that minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 0. Similarly, we can say minus 61 plus 61 is equal to 0. Similarly, 0 plus minus 0 is equal to 0. Or here we can say 101 plus minus 101 is equal to 0. So this also means that for every number, there exists another number which when added to that number gives 0. So these two numbers are said to be additive inverse of each other. So they are called additive inverse of each other. So you, if you are given any number, let's say you are given a number 510 so what would be the additive inverse of 510 minus 510 because any number with the opposite sign the same number with the opposite sign becomes the additive inverse of a number so this is from where the concept of additive identity and additive inverse came into picture Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.